Okay, so here's the furnace. And I made it so all three walls open up. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Stephen's 8x6 Workshop. He sent me a sticker this week and it's pretty neat. It looks like some origami. He also sent a card that uh, has some neat origami looking stuff in it. Um, now the envelope came open, so uh, if there were more than those two things in it, I didn't get them. Anyway, my $50 forge project a couple of weeks ago got the attention of the fellows out there at the Folsom Forge and they asked if I could build them a nicer gas forge. So that's today's project. Now I have a concept in mind. We'll get started by uh, just cutting up some diamond plate. So the first thing I want to do is line up these bricks and I want to frame them in with angle iron. And we'll draw a line here where I'm going to cut the plate. Then we'll cut the plate. Now the logical place to start would be with the uh, base, but uh, I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm going to start with the door. And uh, I'm just going to shim these pieces of angle iron up. Uh, I want the fire bricks to be able to slide in. That way you can replace them if they ever crack. Okay, now that's just right. Okay, so I've got my door hinges on and that's working okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make a C-shaped channel so I can remove these. That way the whole interior can be wide open when all the doors are open. Okay, now I have my end cap cut out. We'll just weld that on and that should stiffen this thing up. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is put some feet on it. And these are actually also sockets for longer legs that I made, which I will show you later. looking okay. We got the, the whole side opens up and then we're gonna have doors on the front and the back and uh, and then we'll put the burners in the top. All that's left is to build the doors and install them then we can get on to the burner assembly.
Okay, so here's the furnace. And I made it so all three walls open up. You got a front and a back door, and then you got this side wall, and that all opens. And now we're going to put the burner assembly in the top. I used uh, chipping hammers for the handles on the doors. All right, the next step is the burner. And the burner's pretty easy. Uh, you've just got a couple of uh, bell reducers with a couple of pieces of three-quarter inch pipe. And uh, I'm going to weld those in onto this plate as an assembly. And the entire burner assembly is going to bolt on to the top of the uh, uh, forge there with with two bolts and I'm just going to cut holes in there that it'll slide down into. Now the spacing is going to be determined by where the orifices end up after I assemble all this stuff. Okay now here's the burner assembly and this is the way I'm going to weld it up. I'm just going to lay it right here and align it to the edge of the table and weld it in place but before I do that I want to drill the uh, mounting holes in the uh, plate here and then use the plate as a template to burn the holes in the top of the forge. And I just got a text from the client. They now want three burners instead of two, which means this just turned into a two-part video and the burner build will be next week. So that's all for this time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. Tune in next week for the burner build and have a good one.